Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior Mulesoft architect. In this video, we are going to see how to enrich a data with Mulesoft 4. In Mulesoft 3, we have a message enricher component for enriching the data. So generally, what we are doing in Mule 3, like any processor wrap with message enrich enricher component to enrich the data so basically let consider I have a request uh, um, like HTTP requester so if I want to enrich that HTTP requester response so what I, I am doing so I am wrap, wrapping up that uh, HTTP uh, requester component with message enricher component in mule 3 but in mule 4 they provided a target and the target value with each uh, processor to enrich the data so basically I will show uh, this with the demo so the things will be more clear so let me do one thing so basically I will drag and drop a HTTP listener okay I will start configuring this HTTP uh, listener I will just click on this plus sign and all settings I will keep as a default then I can give a path test or I can give time zone okay then I will use a HTTP requester component here so in HTTP requester component I have to call this particular API basically okay I want to call this particular API so basically uh, Asia Kolkata TXT so I will get this response back so I can do one thing like I can go to requester and in requester I can provide this particular URL and I can make this as a like URI parameter or like anything so I can say region slash city now I will get this region slash city uh, in my payload basically okay so let me show you just I am trying to create a context why we want the target and the target value so now I can get the region and city from my payload so I would have to read this uh, URI parameter so what I can do it's very easy so basically I can uh, go to URI parameter tab I can click on this plus or either you can click on this FX okay and you can maximize this using this this thing Okay, then I can define my data view expression like I want region so I will read region from payload dot uh, region then I want city so I can say payload dot city okay so I've read uh, these two parameters and like you know, I can say default region is Asia Okay, here again I can say default region is Kolkata dot txt okay so this is my uh, default region so I am just setting default value if like if we are not setting this uh, in the payload it will pick default values done and then finally uh, I will log a payload basically yeah so let me save my application and once I will save it it should run the application so okay it should deploy the application so generally let let me create a let me use this as a post method and this as a time zone then I can go to body and in body I can say raw then JSON I have to pass a two parameter one is reason small letter reason and my region is Asia and I have to pass a city and my city is Kolkata dot txt okay so le let me check whether my application is deploying it's trying to deploy my application okay the application is deployed let me send the request let's see what happens
let's try again sometime it it is unavailable let me check what happened to this particular service yeah this is unavailable for now let's wait yeah now I'm getting the response let me send it so I got this uh, successful response but the what the problem is there like you know I lost my uh, original payload what you know so like I want my original payload for future processing you know uh, I require those data so what I can do so either I can use the set variable before so generally what happens so whenever the request come to this requester your and this requester gets some response and your payload is re replaced with the response from your request component but is there any way I can preserve my original payload you know so so we have a concept called a target and the target value I will show you before that there is a other way you can do that using set variable so what you can do you can create a set variable at here okay and you can give the name as a v original payload right and here you can say payload then you can use other logger component here and you can save vars dot v original payload and I can say default save the application so once I will save the application it will redeploy it hopefully this service is up and running yeah most of the time this is down so let's wait my application is getting deployed okay the application has been successfully deployed now let's see what happens send the request let's wait sometime it give 503 because that service is it's not working that proper yeah now we got a successful response so if you see no it has printed a original pay like a response payload as well as the original payload also okay you can see that basically you know so what I have used I use the set variable to preserve the header I uh, preserve the original payload but is there any other way you know my payload doesn't get changed after uh, response from requester you know so let me do one thing I can remove this set variable and I can go to this request component in request component if you go to some uh, advanced tab you have a concept called target variable and the target value so target variable is nothing it's a value it's a variable which will hold the data and target value is the original data you know not original data it's a response data from this request component so what I can do I can say v response data I can declare like this and like you know in this like uh, whatever response from the re request component will be hold by this particular variable and it will not change the original payload after this you know request component if you want to read the response data you can use this particular variable basically so let me do one thing now let me see like you know let me type a payload in this payload it should print a original payload which we have uh, sent on this particular HTTP listener let me go to logger here I will print the response data from the request component so in this vars you can read like this vars dot response data let me save the application so this target and the target value is basically is used to enrich your data in mule 4 in mule 3 we are using the message enricher component correct so let's wait my application is getting deployed so why we are doing it 
because I don't want to change like you know my origin I, I, I want to preserve my original payload basically so one technique I have shown you you can use the set variable but better you know you make use of this target variable and the target basically so in this case the whenever the request uh, goes to uh, this particular request component the response will be saved in that particular target variable and it will not change the you know the original payload will not change after this request component let me show this okay here you can see you got this particular response so this is right so if you see in first logger it has print the original payload you can see that right and in second logger it has print a response from this request component basically correct so you have like make sure like the your payload original payload doesn't get replaced with the response from the request component you, for that you are make use of target variable and the target target variable is nothing basically it is used to ho hold the uh, data whereas target is nothing it is a actual data basically what data you want to hold basically now I will show you one more technique so let me create a subflow okay I can bring my subflow in this and what I can do go to request So go to this advance and let me remove this uh, this thing I don't want to save this you know here so I have removed this target variable uh, from my request component now what I will do I will use a flow reference okay in flow reference I will call a subflow okay in here what I will do the response from this flow reference sorry from this subflow will get save in v response data variable so i am now i am making use of this target and the target value on the flow reference component basically so whatever re response we will come from this subflow will get save in this particular target uh, v response data okay so let me show that again let me save it so it's a very useful component uh, when like you know when you want to deal with uh, multiple payloads you know so so generally it happens like uh, you want er your original payload uh, for in the for the future processing either you can make use of this set variable or either you can make use of this particular you know this component like th this uh, these two attributes target and the target value you know so my application got deployed let me maximize it clear the console fire the request okay I got successful response here you, you can see it has printed or original payload so basically what happened in flow reference you have set up a target variable correct and like flow reference has called the subflow and the response from this sub subflow has been saved in the target variable so the original payload doesn't get replaced after the flow reference with the response from the subflow right instead of that it will save the response in the target uh, variable and your original payload will remain same so if you see the, fi the first logger it print the payload so it has printed the original payload if you see this logger component it it is printing a target variable so the response from this subflow has been printed using vars dot v response data so this is here how right so this is how you can enrich your data using target and the target value with mules of 4 in mules of 3 we are using the message enricher component so and message enricher component has been removed in mule 4 instead of that 
MuleSoft has introduced target and the target value attribute with each and every component. Okay, so this is very useful concept, and you should know that because like we may require like we may have to deal with like multiple payloads and you know in same flow in that case you can use this particular variable a target value and the target variable okay so i hope you like this video if you like this video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching my video